Hello, everybody. We prepared this uh, short tutorial, hopefully to help you use Audacity, uh, which is a, a free software. And uh, it is uh, very easy to use. And for uh, interpreters, it is very useful. Sometimes you may be asked to perform an interpreting task by recording it while listening to a recorded audio file or even a video file, or you need some to edit some parts of your recording. So first of all, please download Audacity. This is the link that will be given to you where you can find the free software. Okay, then uh, install it, of course. And before you launch the uh, program, please wear your preferred headset so it will be recognized. Now, this is Audacity, what it looks like when you open it up. And uh, <clears throat> it has very many possibilities, okay? But we will only go through what you really need. So this is the, the post button. Well, while I explain you this, I will, first of all, I will import my, my audio uh, file, which I can find on my library or I can find it Excuse me. <laughs> I can find it here as a recent file. Okay. So while it um, imports it, I will uh, just simply point out a few commands. This is the pause button. This is the play button, as you might, of course, understand. This is stop. This is to go all the way back from the at the beginning, or this is to go to the end of the project. This should be to record, but in fact, we will use another uh, another command. Uh, before you start, so you are wearing your headset and you will uh, make sure that it is recognized here. Oh, well, it doesn't allow me yet. Okay, so first of all, go to project rate. It should be 48,000. You can choose here and um, keep this MME as it is. Here, you will uh, make sure your headset is recognized as the one you're using. This stays as mono. And here, you also make sure that uh, the, playing, uh, the playback device is the one that you are using, and it is. The volume should be around here as it is. So when you import your audio file, very often it is in stereo mode. So you don't need it in stereo, you want it in mono. So you go over here, open menu, and uh, click to split stereo to mono. Now you have two tracks and you can throw one away. You only need one. Okay, now, as you can see, this is a very long file. It is two hours long. We don't even need it, of course, but what we do, we zoom in to work on a shorter part of it, to have it clearer. And perhaps you want maybe just one minute or a little more. Okay, now we have four minutes here on the, on the screen. And this is more than we need. With this slide, you can go back and forth if you need it. Um, to start recording, you will click on Shift and R. So I will uh, do that. In fact, I will uh, set the um, the pointer here where it starts speaking because I know that this is all music. And uh, I click on Shift R, and now I'm starting to record. Of course, you can't hear what it says but I am recording, you can see this, uh, this sound wave, this is my voice, okay? And hopefully I can go on to the very end <laughs> like this and have the whole thing done. But in case I have to stop for any reason, I should click on pause, okay? Here on top left, pause button, because it allows me then to continue recording with no, without any problems, right there from where I stopped. 
So I click on pause again, and here I am recording again. As you can see, you cannot hear, but you can see that it is going on nicely. Okay. Okay, while I am recording, if I think I made a mistake, I simply select, uh, let, let's zoom in a little more so the thing is clearer. Okay, and I see that I want to take away this part. So what I do is I put the pointer here and uh, play record again. I will listen to my voice while I am translating. And when it is the right moment, I will translate again correctly. A new track will open up and you will see what we do. So I do it here. Okay, now I translate this better and I pause again. So what I do is, it was here, so I take this part, I copy it and paste it here. Okay, and now I have my translation, this is correct. I can throw this away. And uh, of course I can listen to this again to make sure that this is correct. Okay, and since this is correct, I will go on, but uh, I have to go back here to the pause button. And uh, I'm sorry, I am uh, not doing it right. So, okay, since I stopped, see, it doesn't allow me to go on. So since I stopped the translation, what I do is I go to transport, recording, and then record. And here it goes on again. Okay, so I'm sorry, my little mistake allowed me to show you what to do in case you actually stop. So again, if you stop, you go to transport, recording, record, and you go on recording nicely. Okay, let's go, let's pause it again. Um, Okay, so uh, one important thing is you should name your project. So you click here and give it a name. Let's say the name is test, for example, okay? In this case, now you, ha you have a name. Um, so to save the project in case you want to interrupt it, you go to file, save project. And of course you save it on your computer, whatever you want to do it. When the project is concluded, you can select the project like this, and then you go to File, Export, Export Selected Audio. I uh, didn't select it correctly. Okay, now it is selected. I'm sorry about that. So save, mm, export, I'm sorry, it's export, selected audio and then you will select it and you will uh, save it as WAV okay in case it, it now it is WAV here but if it doesn't uh, show as WAV you can choose WAV here and then you save it at this point you can deliver the project I hope that helps so just uh, to show you um, again This is a quick recap. So to record your translation audio track, you launch Audacity, set the project rate at 48,000. Remember to wear your headset before you launch Audacity. Open the original audio track, then click to Shift R to start recording while you listen to the original. Use the pause button to pause and resume your recording without any problem. Once you're finished, you save your audio track in WAV format, 24-bit mono. To edit your translation, you create a new track, as you have seen, and uh, record the portion you need to edit and copy and paste it on the recording track. You can always undo what you have done, clicking on Ctrl Z. For further information, you can consult the Audacity manual or look for tutorials. There are very many on the web, like this one. 
Thank you.